Hey guys, happy Friday, and welcome to CAPS 101. So uh, there are five different categories of CAPS, in my opinion, and a uh, few opinions online. Um, there are super skinny CAPS, skinny CAPS, medium CAPS, fat CAPS, and specialty CAPS. In this CAPS 101 video, I'm going to talk about the super skinny CAPS. If you've ever been to a graffiti shop before that sells these kinds of cans, these nitro acrylic cans that I use, you will notice that they sell so many kinds of caps and it's very overwhelming. But I'm going to break it down for you really nicely so that you understand which kind of caps that you need to buy for the type of work that you want to produce. All right, let's talk about the super skinny cap. So there are a couple different types of super skinny caps that I tend to use when I work on my murals. To get a lot of those fine lines in my work, I use mainly this super skinny cap. This is the Montana Level 1 Skinny Cap. And I have a huge bag of them because I tend to use them a whole lot. Another example of a super skinny cap is the uh, MTN version. A lot of times you can find them anywhere that sells 94 cans, you will find the super skinny cap. It's a white cap with a gray dot. So yeah, here they are. The two kinds of caps that you need for the finest sharpest lines. Of course, can control has a lot to do with whether or not you're going to get really crisp, sharp lines. Uh, by can control, I mean how fast you paint your lines, uh, the movement that you have with the can. So confidence will obviously help with this sort of thing. So practice makes perfect, guys. If you're a, a beginner at this, then you're going to want to practice, practice, practice. The, the closer you get to the wall, the sharper your lines are going to be. And uh, let me give you a little demonstration. All right, so I'm taking you guys up here on the lift with me as I work on this project. I'm uh, making a little sign for the Borough Market and Bar in downtown Greensboro. So with this super skinny cap, you can get pretty decent coverage. You just need to paint pretty close to the wall. So I'm showing you a little demonstration here. I would recommend using a fat cap for this large of an area. I just wanted to show you. It has very little overspray and pretty decent coverage. Just don't spray too much in one particular area because if you do, it's going to drip. I wouldn't recommend using a super skinny cap to start a fresh can because if you do, something like this might happen. This may also happen if you don't shake your can enough. Uh, I would recommend starting every can with a fat cap, which I will explain in uh, one of my later videos. I'll talk more about can control in a later video, but for now, uh, let me just show you how I fill in this small area. Uh, since there's less overspray with a super skinny cap, I'm less likely to ruin my G here. So be sure to keep the can vertical to the wall. That makes a huge difference. I will have four more CAPS 101 videos for you coming up soon. So be sure to click that notification bell so you can be notified when I drop my next video. Also click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And uh, be sure to like the video too if you got anything out of this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. Now as always, remember to stay peaceful as a calm mind is a creative mind. Now go get inspired, be an influence, and make something beautiful today. Peace. Did you guys notice that I dressed like a carrot today? Yeah, I, I kind of noticed that. Oh well.